Gemini, welcome to a special series of love readings called Can This Relationship Be Healed? And this is for relationships that are going through a rough patch, uh, to put it mildly in some cases, or where you have been estranged from somebody and would like to get back together with them. I have been giving the disclaimer that I don't mean for these to involve people that in which there is physical abuse or severe emotional abuse because that's a little bit more complicated. It's not a matter uh, usually of just like, okay, well, I'm sorry, and then getting back together. A lot of times people that engage in that type of behavior have very deep-rooted problems. I did give the possible, what would you call it, um, I did say that in some cases addiction and infidelity can be healed and that people sometimes do get better even um, though they've had an affair or they've, they've had some kind of um, struggle with addiction. But even in those cases, there may be deep-rooted situations happening too. So it's, it's sometimes it's not a quick fix and you have to be willing to go for the long haul and it, it can, there can be ups and downs. You know, for instance, if you're dealing with some sort of addiction, it may not take the first time. And the, the problem is that it's very easy to get sucked into somebody else's problems, even if you love them. So it's, it's kind of like just a general reading. And um, I'm going to be using two decks. This is my Morgan Greer deck, and then I'm going to show you this one, which is the Crystal Visions deck. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cut a card right now from that deck, which is your shadow work, Three of Wands. Okay? And shadow work simply means, at least my <laughs> understanding of what shadow work is, is just the, that area or areas in your life that you need to really work on yourself, where you have certain things that maybe you kind of even are not conscious of that you do, some patterns, habitual patterns, whatever. And um, I always think it's wise for people to look at themselves, in, even if you feel like the other person is the cause of all your problems. And I, you know, if I see something that really kind of strikes me as a particular theme, I'm going to stick with that. So it may not be something that you personally feel is true for you. Um, I wish I could be so inclusive, but obviously there are so many people born under the sign of Gemini. That's just simply not possible to do so. And remember to, well, let me stop talking and pick that last card. <laughs> okay. Because this is a, a relationship that you want to get back, um, either you want to get back together with somebody or you are trying to repair a, relation, a marriage or the equivalent type of a relationship, we're looking at it from that standpoint. So when I look at this, these three cards, which deal with um, the heart of the matter of the situation, I'm looking at, at it as the other person has left. Because if you, know, if you left the relationship, it means you didn't want to be in it. Um, unless, of course, you left, but you really didn't want to leave, you felt forced to leave because of their behavior. But this is the card of actually 
seeking calmer waters, so to speak. It's, it's moving away from drama and choosing peace. And so if I were just to, to kind of analyze it from that standpoint, that could indicate that there was conflict within the relationship. And it's possible that you didn't think much of it. You didn't, it didn't bother you, but it bothered the other person. Now, the swords connect to air signs. You are an air sign, so that could even be talking about you. But the other uh, two air signs are Libra and Aquarius, and Libra especially is very uncomfortable with conflict. So that could be somebody who's extra sensitive to it. But I see here we have the Queen of Wands. And this is um, in generally a cheery person, especially since this is in the upright position. But if we look at these cards as being causes of the problem, we can look at the shadow aspect of this, which could be smothering behavior, diva-like behavior, and just basic controlling behavior. And I typically don't see the sign of uh, Gemini of exhibiting this, but of course you're in more than just your sun sign, so maybe you have the moon in Leo. Maybe you have the moon in Aries, or you have Aries rising in the moon in Leo, something along those lines where you are a lot more, or maybe you have Mars in Leo. A lot, a lot more feisty than even Gemini itself. Gemini as, is lively, but not necessarily very demanding of people. Um, and, but that could be even some kind of a negative trait, or the other person perceived it that way. Um, another possibility is that, um, <laughs> because we have here, this is kind of, this sounds a little bit outlandish, but we have here, uh, the Ace of Cups, which is a new love situation coming in. So it's possible that the the person that you're involved with got involved with their boss, and I'm looking at it from a, a male-female perspective. If you're a female Gemini, your part did your partner get involved with their, your male partner get involved with their boss that happens to be a female, who happens to be a female? Um, because the Queen of Wands can be somebody who's in a position of authority. And this is a new love coming in. Um, it could be that the other person... Um, it's possible that there is some kind of a conflict with somebody who is the mother of your partner's child. and But I don't think necessarily so because that's a new relationship. The Ace indicates it's new. It's not like a, um, a relationship from the past. So I would think it would be more like somebody who's either a supervisor, female supervisor, or a just an older woman who is a, a fire sign. Actually, that card connects with your opposite sign of Sagittarius. So this could be the sign of the other person. Um, but the thing is that if we look at that six of swords, it sounds like there were already problems in the relationship. And perhaps that person didn't cheat on you. They just left and they went with somebody else because they fell in love with that person. And the Ace of Cups is really about the emotional level of it, not just some affair like, like maybe the Page of Wands or the Ace of Wands. So before I can go on with the rest of the reading, I wanted to, well, let me, let me do this card because this is the higher message. This is a page, Page of Pentacles. Now, Page of Pentacles can deal with messages and even, I would say, new jobs. So again, with that theme of workplace romance, maybe this is a new job and this is how it all began. But also this could indicate that this is a relationship that is more um, more of a real relationship you know when i think of when i think of pentacles i think of tangible things not things that are theoretical not not how you want them to be but what they are and this is solid 
So this, your partner may have met somebody who is more um, their, their cup of tea. And if that's the case, it is what it is. You can't, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I, I forgot to, to talk about the past position. This is a very important card. The, the Ace, the Ace, the Eight of Pentacles is a card of working very hard at something. And usually this is associated with one's career. Now, this could be that you were very consumed with your work. And so the relationship was, um, you know, neglected. But on the, the other person's part, this could be that they were working long hours. And that's how they ended up spending a lot of time with that Queen of Wands. But the other possible interpretation is that you were trying too hard to make something happen. And because of that, it ended up that it was a one-sided thing. And this happens so often, it's not even funny, where one person really wants the relationship to work and they, they try too hard. And it's like this thing... Uh, this page of pentacles is like the thing just, be, you know, manifesting and being good because it, everything fits into place. It's not something that they have to try. You know, pages are the initial stages of the baby, the baby steps or the, I mean, the baby stage of something. So it's in the infancy of, of whatever is happening. But it's already so solid, you know. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes when you're not compatible with somebody, or maybe most of the time, you're going to argue a lot. And that's the Six of Swords is about getting away from all of that. And that person may have felt like that it was unpeaceful to be in that in the situation in a relationship with you. And it's not that it's necessarily your fault unless you admit that you are an argumentative person or that you are just love drama and you can't, you, you feel bored if everything is too um, peaceful, you like to stir things up. That That's definitely, if you have any Aries personal points, that's something you might do on an unconscious level of just trying to stir things up to, to, to add spice to your life and not realizing that it's an, it's a, um, a negative um, behavior and that it's that's not the way to go about adding passion to your life the shadow work is three of wands and this is about seeking um, more out of life um, this I, I really like the picture in this I'm not sure that this really illustrates what this card represents this card represents looking for more in life and Gemini people tend to be if you're not like traveling physically you travel in your own mind and so you tend to be very far uh, reaching and not not necessarily close-minded but in any person's life if they don't feel that they are, they have a vision, it's very easy to get stuck in one place and, and not um, be a visionary. You know, the Three of Wands is about being a visionary. And that's why I often say that you have to learn how to separate passion from drama. And when you don't, you know, there's a saying, I don't know if I'm going to mangle this, but it, they, they say that, Small minds talk about other people. Average minds talk about themselves. And I, 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 I'm not sure that that's it. But then like superior minds or, you know, advanced minds talk about their dreams or something like that. I can't remember how that goes. But basically, um, one of the shadow aspects of Gemini is gossip and, and that kind of thing. Um, you know, being being um, too connected or absorbed with trivia and not enough with the important things in life. And so the Three of Wands is about being forward-seeking and expansive in your outlook. And, and that's when you follow your dreams, you know. 
and it's very important and, and it's so it's too easy to get involved in petty things. You have to really expand your consciousness and and have those big dreams and then you will attract to you the, the perfect partner. I'm I'm convinced of it. What is coming in is the Nine of Cups, which is a really positive card. I, I got two cups for uh, what is coming in in the outcome. So it's possible this is a dream fulfillment card. So even if you have experienced some sort of breakup, there may be somebody coming in that uh, makes you puts a smile on your face, makes you very happy. You are having a full moon in December, Gemini, in December 3rd, in your sign. So that could be kind of heralding a phase of your life being over with. And then maybe after that, who knows, maybe you will have new love coming into your life. In November, you have Mars in the fifth house of romance. So you may have something going on already as, as I record this. And then the outcome is a page of cups. This could be um, with the sign of Pisces. This actually connects to that. But in general, this is a card of an innocent mind, a mind of somebody who is um, really um, no preconceived no notions, very trusting. You have to be careful of gullibility with this card. But this could be a very um, creative person who comes into your life who is very youthful and you're youthful i don't care if you're 50 or 60 years old you're youthful uh, gemini people usually look much younger than than what they are unless maybe you have a certain rising sign because a rising sign can really affect how you look but even if your rising sign is in a sign that maybe looks makes a person look older than, than a Gemini typically is, you still have that spirit, uh, that youthful spirit. So there's always a Gemini person is completely open to change. And that's the great thing about them. And this could be the beginning of a new love too, because I said before, Paige is the infancy of, of a true love because it's cups, it's emotional. So if you were with somebody and they that that ace of cups represents them then this card can represent that you too will will find love and that would be great too so anyway gemini i hope that you enjoyed this and got something from it if you'd like a private reading i've been wanting to say that just to let people know that my my private readings are more astrology based I use the tarot in a secondary way. I'm talking about my love readings, I should say specifically. Because um, I just feel that it's more on point that way. I have a special right now, 20% off all readings for the months of November and December of this year. And the coupon code is Jupiter at checkout. I wish you all the best for the last gasp of 2017. Take care. Bye.